Hi, welcome to Raw Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on probability. In this set, I am testing out if different events are independent. So the way we test for independence is the probability of one event times the probability of the other event if it equals the probability of the intersection of the two events, then it is independent. If that calculation doesn't work, then it is dependent. So for this first one, all we need to do is test if 0 0.4 times 0 0.6 equals 0 0.24. It's nice when everything is given to you as probabilities. Well, this is 0 0.24. Does this equal? 0.24? The answer is yes, so these are independent. For my next set, we have A is probability of A is 50-50, 0.5. The probability of B is 0.7. And the intersection is 0.42. So is 0.5 times 0.7 equal to 0 0.42? is 0 0.35 equal to 0 0.42. That's a big no. So these two events are dependent. Sometimes when we do independent and dependent, instead of being given just the numbers, we're given something a little more creative like these boxes. So for C, what we need to do is we need a few numbers. First of all, we need the number of elements in the universe. So the number in the universe is 40 plus 40 plus 30 plus 30, which is 140. And now we can test the probability of E times the probability of F. Does this equal the probability of E intersection F? So for E, we have 70 over 140. For F, we have 60 over 140. And for the intersection, we have 30 over 140. I wanna mention that when I say E, I mean the entire circle of E which is why I took 40 plus 30. For F, I mean the entire circle of F, which is why I took 30 plus 30. When I do these calculations, I get 0 0.214. Does this equal 0 0.214? The answer is yes. So these events are independent. For my next set, I have to get the universe again. So for this one, the number in the universe is 30, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, probability of E is 50 over 100. Probability of F is 30 over 100. And the intersection is 10 over 100. So we have 0 0.15, does this equal 0 0.1? The answer is no, these are dependent. Um, last two examples. Um, the number in the universe here is 40, 70, 80, 100 again. Hundreds are nice. So we can take the probability of E, which is 40 over 100, times the probability of F, which is 30 over 100, and calculate is that equal to 10 over 100. So we have 0 0.12, does this equal 0 0.1? No. So these are dependent. And our last example. So if we add up our universe, 70, 110, 118, 132, the number in this universe is 132. So probability of E is 48 over 132. The probability of F is 22 over 132. And we wanna know if this is gonna equal eight over 132. Throw this into a calculator, we get 0 0.06 repeat. Throw this into a calculator, we get 0 0.06 repeat. So these two events are independent. All right, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.